Hi, it's like, well, not now, but it's 11.01. It's starting the 48 hour readathon for Blackathon. Uh, I decided to blog it and I also decided I will try to stay awake and read like mostly um, throughout these 48 hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able, at least I want to get like 24 hours awake, <laughs> but if not, like, we'll see. Um, so I still don't know what I'm going to read, but right now I'm working. I just wanted to make the introduction on time. I still have to work a little bit more. And then once I finish, I will talk to you and see what I decide to read. I finished Cinderella is Dead yesterday at night on Bree's sprint that she did for Blackathon 2. It was amazing, the sprint. Uh, I've been having so much fun with those sprints. Like everyone is just so welcoming and nice and entertaining to watch. So yeah, I'm rambling. <laughs> It's been an hour. I just finished working. So I read Cinderella is Dead because it, I was trying, I wanted to read it and I was trying to see if it fit the prompt for Blackathon of having a main character who has fantastical abilities or that is very connected to their spirituality. Um, but Cinderella is Dead doesn't cover that. So I'm thinking maybe I can read something different that fits that prompt instead of like continuing because then on my TBR I have We Are the Origin and Here Comes the Sun. Then I have like God of Mercy but it's an audiobook and like I have a conflicting situation with audiobooks. Let me see. But those are my options right now continue with the other prompts probably here comes the sun like I really want to read that and I just read a fantasy so here comes the sun is a contemporary it will be a nice change um, let's see God of Mercy it's set in Ichulu mm, okay so this will fit the prompt and then I have Vagabonds and import. Se supone que es un blog de la vida real y acá hay siempre ruido. <laughs> okay, so this also will count. Both of them are audiobooks. <laughs> so my conflicting relationship with audiobooks applies to both of them. And they are both 11 hours. So, okay, I'm, I will try to make people decide for me if someone like pays attention. I'm going to pull, I'm going to make a poll on Twitter and Instagram and see if someone helps me decide because they both sound amazing. They both have the issue that they are audiobooks and I'm not really feeling audiobooks. We are going to leave that for later once I get some answers, if I get them. Um, and now I'm going, I'm, I feel like I just knew I was going to start with Here Comes the Sun, like I just wanted it. So yeah, I'm going to start with Here Comes the Sun. Uh, this is for like a book set in Jamaica. Here Comes the Sun is about this girl. She is involved in sex work and she doesn't want her sister, her little sister to end up in the situation. So she's making everything she can so her sister can keep going to school. And there's a new hotel that is going to help her financially. Like, I'm not sure what is going to happen. And then there is also she's involved with another girl and that's not okay because homophobia. So that also plays a part in this book. It's going to be a lot, but I've been reading a lot of light things so I feel like I need something more real or like tough to read you know right now is noon here uh, I finished work I'm so happy <laughs> I have the entire well I have an 
I have a meeting at 4, p 4 p.m. And then I have, and then I'm planning on going to the beach with my family and a friend. So I will try to read the most I can now. Uh, that's the best I can do. I'm way too hot. It's 37 degrees. Um, don't ask me how much that is in Fahrenheit because that will be the death of my identity as a Latina. Um, but yeah, 37 degrees Celsius. Me estoy hablando a la cámara. We are going to the beach with a friend of mine and I read 60, 66 pages of Here Comes the Sun and I'm on chapter 6. Those chapters are long. We came back from the beach. I made dinner for my family. I've been playing with the baby. I haven't read at all today. Uh, I read the 66 pages I was talking about. This book is really hard to read. Like, of course, I already knew the topics were going to be like difficult. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to read this book because it feels really personal and very real so it feels like judging someone for the decisions they make in their lives so I don't really want to do that but that's also a great thing about the book like it's really touching me I do have to say everything is super sexual and it's making me a little bit uncomfortable because it's not about sexual like of course, with the sex work thing being involved in the book, it's not what I'm used to reading when it comes to like sexuality, so... And also the lesbian couple already like, it's a no for me, like I thought I was going to love them, but it's, it's an older lady with the girl that she knew since that little girl was 10 and she felt possessive and protective of her when she was 10 and now they are sleeping together and she also mentions that she forced the younger woman to have relationships like, like sexual relationships and the younger woman ended up crying because she didn't want to um, well, she kind of wanted to do, but she was pressured by the older woman. Um, now the plan is to... I am in the bathroom, by the way. Um, I'm about to take my sh a shower because I'm full of salt from the sea. Um, so the plan is to continue reading tonight. Of course, I won't sleep, hopefully. Um, so I will read until I get tired because I always get sleepy when I read at night. And once I get sleepy, I'm going to start editing my video that I started this afternoon. I'm going to edit it and I want to, I want to upload it by tomorrow. And then it's going to be morning and I will have spent 24 hours awake.
it's officially morning it's like seven something and i didn't sleep <laughs> in the entire night so i accomplished the 24 hours without sleeping we'll see if i managed to do 48 weirdly enough i'm not feeling tired like maybe a little bit but i read from like midnight to around 2 a.m and then i work on my youtube channel from 2 to 4 and that brought me a lot of energy like i just love my channel and working on my videos it just gave me a lot of energy and after that i continue reading like uh from 5 to now 7 and i'm feeling fine <laughs> so the amount of times yeah that i was reading and i was like I'm on page 240 and 60, I'm on chapter 22 of 840. I stopped reading actually just because my, the battery died. The book is accomplishing on making me feel things, but the things that it makes, it makes me feel are awful, like the things that are happening, everything all these people have gone through, everything is just... There's so few good things have going on and it's really sad. I really don't like reading sad books just because like I use books as an escaping, like, you know, like experiencing good things, like magical things, things that don't happen in real life that are good. Um, so it's hard to read this book with all the awful things going on in the you know someone out there is going through right now because that's just how the world is so yeah i'm not going to rate this book but it, i do have to say like huge three warnings like it has rape, rape um a lot of it and there was a mention of an eating disorder i'm pretty sure there's also like the rape of a child of nine years old um, everything is too much. Uh, at some point I wanted to cry during the night. Uh, I feel so sad and it's only 7 a.m. So, and I feel like that already messes up with my day. Like, so now that my, my thing is charging, I will work a little bit. I have a few things to do again <laughs> and I also have to clean but nothing like super important is going on today. I'm going to make the poll today to see like what should I read next. I'm probably going to read We Are The Origin um, because that's fantasy and <laughs> you know it has a princess and warriors. So it's 2 p.m. and I'm officially sleepy, uh, but also officially uh, I have 106 pages to go. Um, I don't think I've read anything in the entire morning. I worked, I played with the baby and we watched a movie and that's basically all I've done. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> But also, I'm feeling so relaxed, like, I usually wake up with a lot of energy, or like, with a lot of stress. Uh, so, not going to sleep, my, like, my body is super relaxed. Um, so that feels amazing, like, I'm not worrying about anything right now. I'm going to continue reading. Uh, and if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. <laughs> So it's around 10, 
8.30 p.m. I haven't slept at all. <laughs> like, I don't know what time is it, like 36 hours, more than 36 hours for me. Um, the vlog started at 9 a.m. EST, but I woke up, that is 11 my time, but I woke up at 6.30. So I've been awake since 6.30 on Thursday. And today is Friday, 10 p.m. I feel like I could do this more often, like just be awake. I finished the book, still like, it did not have the whole full ending I was hoping for. Like, you cannot have a happy ending with that book, but I was hoping to have an ending where like, you know, like there's hope of a bright future, like things can change. I don't know, like, things change, but I'm not sure if for the better, you know. You know what, I'm going to look, I'm washing my hands, um, I'm going to look for reviews, like YouTube reviews, and see what other people like. Not to, like, they won't change my opinion, but I want to see like what other people got out of this book because right now I'm just lost. I just don't know how to feel about it. Like I'm not used to reading books, like fiction books that are this deep. Like I will never read A Little Life, The Poppy War, books like that. Like I know I won't never, I will never read it just because I don't like being sad. I will leave this like my opinion for my wrap up so now i have like 12 hours more and then this vlog is going to be finished so on those 12 hours i'm going to read we are the origin people actually answered to me on twitter and instagram and god of mercy won but i realized i won't be able to read that at night because it's an audiobook and i always feel fall asleep with audiobooks if I'm laying in bed. So I'm going to be reading We Are the Origin since I have it on ebook and with that I can actually stay awake. I'm so ready to read a fantasy book uh, about this um this super powerful girl that is killing people and that is go running and it's going on a mission with a princess. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to finish it in 12 hours. It's only 400, 400 pages, but uh, the entire day today, it took me way too long to finish Here Comes the Sun, and it's because I had to reread the same sentences over a couple of times uh, for my brain to be like, okay, I'm awake and start processing everything again. Um, maybe I should take a nap. You know, like, who is benefiting from me staying awake 48 hours? Um, but I already, I'm so committed, like I only have 12 hours left. If it will feel like I'm failing, just like almost winning, what am I going to be winning? I don't know, it's my brain, just like, I don't know. Okay. So it's 11, can you see, wait, yeah, so it's officially on the finish of the 48 hour readathon. I did sleep, <laughs> I I decided at like 1am 1 1 I cannot do this anymore and I actually put the alarm to wake up at 3 so like I could take a little nap and then continue. But I didn't even hear the alarm. <laughs> I just fell asleep. So I woke up today at 6.30. I've been kind of reading a little bit. I have like read, let me check, 190 pages of We Are the Origin, which is a lot. Like in a single day, I usually don't read that much. So it's amazing. Um, The book, this one, oh, like... I like the magical aspects and all of that, like I'm very much entertained, it's going by super fast. Okay, so now I have a very idea, so I can explain better what this book is about. We have a goddess and four gods, and they have like a polyamorous relationship, which is amazing. But I think they all just care about the goddess. But the 
vaso for the goddess is our main protagonist. The goddess makes this girl protect the princess of the kingdom. And that's where the story begins. I really like the polyamorous stuff right now. Um, it's always great. But I'm having issues with the gods and goddesses. Like the world building. It's not convincing me. It, it didn't seem real or like cohesive with everything going on. The role of the gods and goddesses and how they behave and just them. I'm not a huge fan. Maybe I should film here a little bit more often. Like if you cannot see this and this, you know, books. <laughs> But that's all for this readathon. I finished Here Comes the Sun, which I still wouldn't rate. I feel like if I had to rate it, I would give it five stars because of how much it made me feel and how much I connected to the story because I was really feeling sad and also frustrated and angry. And it's this book is just a lot and i also read 200 pages of almost 200 of we are the origin which it's it's been entertaining so far i am super tired still like i feel like i need a nap still so that's probably what i will do today i also need to work and other stuff but that's for this blog if you made it this far, leave the fairy emoji just because that's the fantasy emoji I like the best. And also let me know if you have ever stayed up like more than 24 hours awake just to read books. I probably will do this again because I really like, like I got so many stuff done since I had the entire night to also like read and then work and then edit the video that I posted on YouTube. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 